Live in studio here at KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle and at KEXP.org, it's Fiddler. <laughs> About to cry. <laughs> Oh my God. For some unexpected reason. You're going to sound good, though, right? You can cry no, all you want. It's, it's not going to sound good. It's your party now. Take it away. KEXP Studios with Fiddler, the song 40 Ounce on repeat from the brand new album, too. What's up next? Uh, y Generation. Excellent. Oh, and tuning. We appreciate that. The, the song called Tuning. <laughs> it's always nice to have the songs in tune. Tonight, Fiddler play at the Showbox at the Market here in Seattle. <laughs>
fun times in the KEXP studio with Fiddler tonight. They're playing at Showbox at the Market here in Seattle. And thank you for coming in. It's so fun to have you here. Thanks for having, Thanks us. For having us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. A brand new album called Two, and you guys have traveled many miles together, played a lot of shows. Unfortunately, yes. it's not the 70s anymore, and you have to tour like crazy, which is a good thing, right, guys? We're living the dream, right? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's what it's all about. Man. Well, uh -huh. the, the good thing is that I read, not that you can believe everything that you read, but that you actually write well on the road. It, that's uh, it's, it's like, a, I think it's a different thing now. It's not like we're home just c always writing you know we like live i lived in a studio with brandon and we would just always like write all the time because we we're living in together in a studio you know so now it's just like you're just constantly like thinking of songs and titles and lyrics and uh, melodies and stuff like that so yeah is it now that you're not living together is it a sol solitary endeavor or do you s write as a band or we talk about stuff to write about didn't we have an idea like Recently, could be writing a song right now. Yeah, I think it it go. There's there's always ideas flowing around. Yeah, uh, well, we had one. Oh, uh, we were talking about you know like nowadays kids at shows they don't want to like hang out. They really just want to like take a picture with you. And they just they want just the post. Disappear. <laughs> It's insane. It's crazy. Uh -oh. You're like, hey, what's up, man? And you like try to talk to them, and they just like, can I get a picture? And then they leave. And you're like, well, we could have hung out a little bit. Yeah. That's sweet that you want to hang out with I want to get fans. to know you. But they stay for the show, though, right? Yeah. They take a picture, and then they leave. You know, they, get, <laughs> they get their 15 seconds on Instagram. And it's then a sold-out show, but by the time you end, yeah. it's an empty house. <laughs> it uh, starts sold out, and then everyone gets their posts, and then halfway through the first song, everyone's gone. They just head for the door. Well, at least you get a lot of social media, and that's, of <laughs> course, what's important. That's right. That's that right. Is, it's the most important thing. Or screen time. How did you guys all uh, get to know one another, or come together, or make music? Did you know each other before? Well, yeah, obviously well, before, but well, did you? That's my brother. <laughs> Max is my brother, the drummer. Hey. So, um, <laughs> me and Zach met at a recording studio in L.A. And, then and uh, I met Schwartzel at a... Um, in the pen. <laughs> in the pen. Play yeah. pen? We were, so do we were cellmates. <laughs> Doing a nickel for armed robbery. Yeah. <laughs> Burritos. And then it was just magic from there on out. Pretty much. It's like right when we started, it was like, it's like classic band story, you know? It's like, yeah, dude, we just do this for fun, you know? And next thing you know, it's, I think our first big tour was with the Hives. You know, we played the Showbox with the hives, I remember opening up. And wasn't the guy from the Sonics there or yeah. something? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Elvis broke the, the hives amp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's when Elvis broke the hives amp. Blew out and the he amp. asked for another amp, and they're like, no. <laughs> you can't <laughs> no. break our other. Yeah, you can't break, break our That's other. Amp. Yeah. That's a fun live band, though. You got to admit. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're the best. Yeah. yeah. They're Learned a lot fun. from them. Well, you are playing tonight again at the Showbox. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, what are you headed next? Uh, Beach to Orange County. Santa Ana. Yeah. Orange County. Close to home. Behind the orange curtain. <laughs> the orange curtain. <laughs> the orange bubble. It's a fun new album. It's called Two. And Two. we're excited. Are you going to play more from that? Yes, we're going to play the song called Drone right now. All right. Yeah.
Woo. Yeah. Fiddler right. live on KEXP. You're working hard. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, We're hardly working, it's, huh? Yeah, it's just... <laughs> right, huh? <laughs> it's my dad joke for the Case night. Of Mondays, huh? <laughs> the dream, man. This is a new song on a new album called Two that we've never played, ever. Wow, so thank you. We're going to try it out today. Debut. And we apologize <laughs> in further advance, but... It's going to be great. It'll be great. We're going to try to make it all right for you guys out there. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. Y'all ready? <laughs> Fiddler live on KEXP. Nicely done. You happy with that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That sounded great. One take. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Grand slam. You can see them tonight at Showbox at the Market here in Seattle. And the new album called Two out on Mom and Pop. Thanks again so much for coming in. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Shout out Dennis Robin. You've got a <laughs> tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.